Hi guys, Pastor Mike Salmon here. Um, I just want to share a video uh, somebody shared with me on Facebook. Um, took a look at this uh, video. And, you know, when you watch something like this, you kind of get excited about it. But, um, you know, this is, uh, this is in Pirates Cove, California. If you don't know what Pirates Cove, California is, this is, if you've ever watched uh, Jesus, The Jesus Revolution, I believe that's the name of the, the movie, um, this is where kind of the Jesus movement began, you know, and the baptism of, you know, people were being baptized in California at the Pirate's Cove. And, um, so to a lot of people, this is significant of being baptized there. It's kind of a big thing. So they shared this to me and, and at first, uh, let's take it, let's watch it. And then uh, I'll kind of commentary on this. <laughs> So um, I played it a couple times just so that you can see, you know, when, when we watch something like this, it gets, it's kind of exciting, you know, 5,000 people baptized in Pirate's Cove, uh, California, but it makes me wonder how many of those 5,000 people who decided to get baptized went through catechism. How many understand that what they were doing and why they were doing it? Um, that's the problem we have. We have a bastardization of Christianity in America today. We are having people getting baptized, believing, and then um, immediately being thrown into the water to be baptized without even understanding what they believe, what they've done. Uh, they're not repenting of their sin. They're not understanding the cross. They're not understanding the resurrection. They're not understanding anything. All they're doing is they, they have this false assurance because they believe and were baptized that they're saved. So they leave these these waters, go back and live with their boyfriend or girlfriend or continue with their partying or whatever it may be and doing their things. And we're expecting this to be a celebration. Again, how many of these people went through the catechism? How many people were sat down and told, hey, do you even know what you're doing? Do you even know what you're believing? Do you even know what you're trusting? Have you repented of your sins? Are you still living in sin? You know, you have to repent. You need to turn to God. A lot of people may argue with me and say, well, you know, the, the disciples didn't ask those who were being baptized, like Philip, uh, when he baptized the eunuch, or Cornelius' house, or, or many of the other Jews. But you've got to remember, those people already knew God. They had a relationship with God. They understood the Torah. They understood the things of God. So when they came to repentance, they understood on repentance and baptism. They understood this. Even Philip even when Paul was in Philippi and he baptized uh, the jailer and his household, the jailer understood that it meant about repentance and turning to God. These people, as we're seeing in many churches, are so excited about baptizing people just to mark it that they're not taking the moment to spend time. Again, while we may rejoice on the level, on a shallow end, that people are being believing and being baptized, in reality, what we are creating is false Christians, false converts going out into the world thinking, well, I'm a believer, I've been baptized and continuing living in sin. This is not the way we should be doing things. This is not the way God has instituted things. The early church understood later on as Gentiles were coming to Christ on the fact of catechism. We see it in the Corinthian church, people who believed and were baptized. And even the apostle Paul says, man, you guys are all in division. It was later on to the church came to realize that a lot of the people who were believing and being baptized truly did not understand what they were doing. So they instituted through the Holy Spirit, I believe through the Holy Spirit, 
the catechism and the reason and again the word catechism means a student or a teach or someone who's being taught in the teachings of the christian faith and it could be catechism of anything but in this case here in catechism in in the early church sometimes a catacomb what they call the catacomb would sometimes be under catechism for a year to two years before they understood this. Uh, we, see, we see this all throughout church history about people who understood that what they were doing and what they were believing uh, before they were baptized. This here, while we may rejoice on a shallow level, is truly not something that is true that is from God or from the church. And I'm not gonna I'm not gonna so so-called just jump into a judgment as much as say this is not the way it should be done this is not the way the church should just automatically bring people and baptize them and say da -da! and be all rejoicing without them sitting down and understanding what does it mean and what are you doing that's my point god bless you and have a good day mm -hmm.